welcome. I'm on a road trip. Um, no Doug. Uh, heading to Dr. Power Sports out in Iowa. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, a little bit. X3's back there. Um, going to Dr. Power Sports. We're going to do some modifications. Uh, hopefully, the title of this video will show you, but uh, we are getting new clutch set up in there, and we're going to do dyno tunes. So, uh, if you saw the videos before, we did a power tune from Andy out there at Power Tune, obviously, running E85 on the X3. I know right now I am losing a lot in the clutches because I checked what my RPMs were at uh, full throttle pull, and I am about like uh, five or six hundred below what I should be. Uh, we're gonna fix that up on the Ibex clutch, and we're gonna get all that set up in there here. It'll be today slash tomorrow for me, but for you, it'll be just a couple minutes. And uh, get that all going. Super excited. Uh, man, the thing's a monster now, so I can't wait to see what'll happen once we uh, actually get the clutch tuning right. Uh, right now, I'm still just like six hours from there. It's a total of seven hours from my house to their shop, so... Uh, driving out there, I'll get there this afternoon, we'll do a couple hours of work, get it strapped on the dyno, plus that way the X3 doesn't have to sit at a hotel uh, and sit outside overnight, it'll sit at Dr. Power Sports the facilities and then I'll just go to a hotel, grab some sleeps and then uh, head back there in the morning, wrap it up and hopefully it's quick and easy and we see big gains and all that fun junk and then uh, yeah, I, I truck on home and get ready for the next race because I got another race coming up here in a month, basically. And I want to put the hurt on some guys. problem rhino axle that's supposed to be attached to more bits and you can tell let's see if it'll focus focus where it's curvy right there it actually twisted the shaft and then snapped it both here and down there so nice huh that was in the front end of my x3 it was three-wheel drive even though it's not baseline run um, with the tune that's equipped in the car and this is just stop clutching so what we're seeing here is the yellow line I believe is our engine horsepower um, the blue line is this is dyno torque because so don't take this as as actual engine torque it's the torque the dyno sees we're not necessarily looking at that right now what we want to see is where we're starting at for a horsepower curve the other thing is the blue line here this is our rpm profile um, the yellow line we've got set up here is just a drive ratio and we're going to kind of look at where those two are going to meet and uh, how quickly we go there and then we're going to look at shift out so we're going to take all these parameters the next thing we'll do is we're going to install our ibex clutch kit 
and we're going to do the next run and we're going to see where all those lines match up where they correlate and where we can adjust from there all right sounds good So we do, what do we change in the primer? Uh, weights and springs. No, weights. Just oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, the new one, yeah. And the horsepower, orange is our baseline, yellow is our second run here with the first try at the Ibex. So we're looking, right there is about our peak, I'm looking right here, gained about five horse right there on the peak horsepower. And then it's holding it a little longer, uh, we're going to have to do some adjustment because as we're looking at the RPM profile here, uh, looks like we are, let's see, we're low. We got to take some weight out of it. So then when we're... Our second run Our blue. second runs. Is the blue or the purple? Is the blue. Okay. So we're running too low RPM. We want to be more where that first one was. At yeah. 80-50, 8100, that's kind of the target we want to shoot for. Okay. And then uh, we're shifting out a little hard there as far as like RPMs climbing up, so... We'll come out, we'll do some weight adjustment and uh, give her another shot here. Good deal. So what we're looking at here is yesterday's baseline run. And <laughs> what we just finished up here with our settings. So um, if we look at the RPM wise first, the purple line is what we just did, blue is our baseline. So we're getting to our peak RPM quicker. As you see, it pulls apart there. And then we're holding our target nice and flat all the way across. Um, where we were picking up our RPM reading off of injectors, our pulse width, that goes off a little bit. So we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna shift out there anyway. Uh, horsepower wise our peak was about the same as we got there around the peak what we're noticing is the orange line is what we just finished up at we're keeping about seven more horsepower going across as we head toward max speed and uh, shift out so we're losing less horsepower once we've hit that peak yeah awesome so it was a success yeah well, I am on the road again. I got the X3 loaded up back there. Uh, I got parts too. Some stuff I had to get to uh, kind of start working on the X3 and getting it where it needs to be. Anyway, so uh, man, the guys at DR or Dr. Power Sports, just great. Jared and uh, Jason and uh, Chad. I didn't get to see Chad much. He was running around doing other stuff, but. Uh, great people there uh, definitely check them out their dyno is top level stuff like and jared knows exactly what he's doing with clutching uh, so everyone's gonna ask numbers the my x3 while it has a a big tune in it and it's really like as big of a tune as you really go before you start going to bigger turbos uh it's not a dyno car it's not a drag car it's not any of that it's a race car so this trip while I wanted to see the numbers and what it put down um, it wasn't about getting the biggest number out of it we didn't touch the tune at all the tune from uh, Andy over at power tunes works great that whole thing that was 
that we didn't even mess with it. The, the goal was not to gain more power. The goal was to get the clutch set up to utilize all the power that I have. That's what I got for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, huge thanks to all of our sponsors, CW Motorsports, um, 834 Powder Coat, Spangs Fab, and Watch Communications. Thank you for uh, all the stuff you guys do, helping us do this stuff. Um, definitely like and subscribe to the video. It helps us out. Check the bell uh, for notifications of when we upload stuff. And once again, can't say enough thank you to uh, D uh, Dr. Power Sports, Chad, and Jared, and everybody there is super nice. They have a really nice facility. I didn't get to take any video at all of it because uh, with the extra problems we found in the X3, it just didn't work out that I had the extra time. It was pretty much slap it together, pull it out, up on the trailer, and head home because I'm going to get home late at this point. But it'll, it'll be a two-day trip instead of a three-day trip. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let me know if you want to see more content like this, and we'll do our best to keep bringing it to you. Thanks. See you guys.